All right, guys, today we're in Granbury, Texas. My name is Derek Tanner. I'm the owner of DT Roofing. My name is Randy Hurtado, and I'm the co-owner of DT Roofing. Why is it DT Companies? How many companies do you own? Uh, DT Companies is comprised of four different companies. DT Roofing is the oldest of those companies. We do commercial and residential roofing. Uh, we have Kingdom Builder Construction, which is a full construction company. And then we also own uh, Patriot Garage Door and Service. And then the final one is uh, DT Soft Wash and Exterior Cleaning. I started the company with my wife, Amber, 2009. We had, our current business had slowed down quite a bit. And ironically, a storm hit our community and she and I both decided that we could uh, sell roofs. I joined the company in 2015, uh, originally as a salesperson for the company. In approximately 24 months, we were able to grow the revenue for the company quite a bit to the point where I was able to convince Derek to give me equity in the company and come on as an owner. And uh, the company has uh, been able to thrive through our efforts uh, ever since. So you have a billboard right there, you have this big giant. How many billboards do you have and why do you have billboards? So this billboard is part of our property and so obviously we're gonna advertise our companies. Uh, our our uh, tenants don't really care too much. They don't uh, serve the resident or the end user. They serve the services that they provide. So um, we have five total that are not our billboard in town and each one of them advertises a different business uh, one of them actually advertises all four of them, and it advertises as DT companies to start building that brand recognition for the cu uh, customer. DT Roofing serves Granbury, Hood County, and the surrounding areas. We also have 17 trucks on the road, and they all have wraps. And so when we get calls into our answering service, the number one uh, reason why people call when we ask, like, how'd you hear about us, is I see you guys everywhere. I see your trucks everywhere, I see your billboards. No one can say I don't know who to call when I need a roof inspection or if I need to build something. Branding <laughs> absolutely does work. And, but it needs to be very focused and uh, you, you don't say yes to everybody. Uh, we get inundated with calls all the time. Everybody in the world knows how to fix our company. And my first question to them is, who told you it was broken? <laughs> you know. Uh, We've got branding everywhere already. We already show up number one in the Google searches. Uh, we're Google guaranteed. We're doing all the things that the people in marketing that know what they're doing tell us to do. And uh, it's working. This is where all the magic happens when it comes to the uh, home builds, remodels. This is yours? What's that? This, this right here? Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Do you know the letter game? You, this you is... do one pull up, I do one pull up, you do two oh, pull up. Be... <laughs> well, we'll this, this is yours. We'll be done like, after I cannot two. beat you at your own turn. I can tell you have one luck issue that you would have. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be done after like two pull ups. Okay, so. let's go. Hey, I, I want to see you do pull up. This is cool. Why did you build it? This right here? Yeah. Because fitness is his passion. So. I don't know. That's just uh, <laughs> okay. a way I'll... to uh, get a little exercise. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There you go. All right. See? Yeah. Let's see how far we go. All right. Nope. Yep. That's about as far no, as I two. get. You go for yeah. two now. <laughs> oh, I got two? Yeah, yeah. You go oh, two. Oh, forget that. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> two in a row? Yeah. Yep. How many usually do? Why did you install it? It's oh, here for, here for a little while. standing here for a while. You just he's, stretch out. He's really hating on you. Like, <laughs> No, this is what. Keep going, 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 keep going. The rings and everything, man. Yeah. There you go. this guy? You can get fit here, man. I've never once seen Clayton use those. I'm not using quite the. Well, you can see that the construction works. I love it. I love it. Let me show you why this plate says six doors on it. One. Two, three. That's the biggest truck I've seen in my yes, life. So this is my personal truck. I bought this truck with zero miles on it. And- uh, What are you compensating for? No, exactly, yep, <laughs> no. So what this does for us is obviously it's great advertisement. It's a billboard driving down the road. 
even if I didn't have our company name on it, people still look and point and give me the thumbs up. We have six kids and we like going on family trips. And uh, a that's few what, years that's ago- That's what you're driving? Yeah, so this is my daily driver. Oh wow. And we take, this fits nine people comfortably with seat belts. It could still pull our travel trailer if we're going somewhere that requires a travel trailer. And um, you know, we can get all the kids in one truck and head out. So the back is actually, nice, for those that think that uh, owners are only uh, sitting back, I actually have all of my roofing tools and ladder and everything in the back. If we get too busy, I jump into the field. I help my guys out. Uh, we're, we're very uh, inclusive when it comes to- This is to truck limo. Yeah. You know, one time I had a customer, pull, I pulled up and the customer said, wow, that's an expensive truck. I bet you guys are really expensive. And my retort to him, and, con and he actually thought it was funny, as I said, if I would have pulled up in a 74 broken down truck, would you even give me an opportunity? And he said, touche, you know. DT Roofing is a residential and commercial roofing company. So we provide everything from standard composition uh, to metal, stone coated steel, to TPO and all other types of flat roofing on commercial. We are currently platinum partners of Owens Corning and master installers for GAF. In 2021, we were invited to the Platinum Conference. We're a platinum partner with Owens Corning. Uh, we were brought there uh, being told that we were nominated for uh, our philanthropic work that we do with ministries and stuff locally, and only to find out when we got there that we actually won the top performer award for the South. So they tricked you. <laughs> you know, it was, I mean, they didn't want us to know and they wanted a genuine response, I guess, but uh, it really blew our mind. We knew we had a killer year last year, but we, we didn't think that we were going to beat out companies in Dallas and San Antonio and, and what have you. So it was very, it was a blessing. The lesson is for those of you who are chasing big cities, you're going after, you know, metropolitan areas, riches in the niches, but also in the smaller markets. You can dominate your small little community if you serve it well. And this is the living proof of that. Everywhere I go now, we have catch-all system. This is a perfect example why you need a catch-all. I mean, huge bushes, everything is covered, but what makes you guys different? What's, what's your process? Who is managing this chaos? Yeah, so um, we've got a uh, project manager that visits every single job. Is it the person who also sold the job? No. All right, so person sells the job, guide me through the entire process. Sales rep comes in, sells the job, signs the contract, what happens next? Right, after that, he turns the job in. Actually, Randy's in charge of all the production. At the end of the day, Material gets here. If if Jose needs uh, more material, Wrangles right there on the phone. He runs, grabs it, so it doesn't slow the job down, which could also add to costs. Um, the end result of the job is that he comes and picks up any additional material that's left over when the job is completed, and does an entire 360 of the job, making sure that the guys picked up every single nail. Uh, it's one of the compliments that we get on over our th over 300 five star reviews on our Google uh, pages you wouldn't even know they were here except I look up and see a brand new roof because he's going through and magnetize every bush, every, you know, so he walks He helps out. with the cleaning. Does he set up a catch-all system yeah. or someone else? He and the crew. Okay. Yeah. Granbury is a tight-knit community. It has uh, a great lake, great lake atmosphere, a lot of history. Um, it's a great place to raise your kids, to, uh, to have a family. This one is a stone-coated steel roof. We started it yesterday, tore the whole roof off, felt it in, and uh, we have all the battens on. And so for those of you not familiar with stone-coated steel, these are just steel panels that are stone-coated. They look like wood shake but they come with a 50 year warranty. The company that we uh, work with, we've Hold been on. with Shingles while. come with a 50 year warranty. Yeah, that's true. That's Is true. it the same warranty? Well, <laughs> yeah. what will last more? Definitely stone coated steel. What's the process we have? So the process is, is once we dry it in, then we put in the uh, one by battens and uh, then the shingles basically just install. We're, we're just now getting the battens on, so they haven't started really hanging the shingles, but you could see up in the corner, uh, 
They'll nail them into the top batten and the bottom batten, and the battens themselves, we use ring shank nails to go into the decking and into the wood. So it's uh, guaranteed up to 140 mile an hour winds. So that's the panel. It's hot, so be careful, but see the back. So they stamp it, and then it's also 26 gauge, so. See what you mean? Yeah. Is so. this how you cut it? Yep, these are already pre-cut, and what they have a giant cutter, much like the one you use in your office to cut your documents, yep. except for metal. And they just come over here, get started. on it. They 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 scribe Tor it. Torture device. Yeah, they scribe it, and then they cut it, and those are gonna be uh, set up in the valleys. So we're in a unique situation in Texas because although this market is saturated with roofers, uh, the the Metroplex has I think the last look was over two, 10,000 roofing companies. Uh, we're in the west side of the Metroplex, so we call it the Westoplex. And so although competition uh, does thrive out here, we uh, find ourselves in a unique position where because of the time that we've been in business out here, we've uh, gained the trust of our clientele. And so it, mathematically, we definitely get our fair share and a fair share of others of uh, the pie. This is a 310,000 square foot cold storage facility. So this is a big project, this is new construction. There's a lot of jobs going on around us, so we have to make sure safety is on point. We have to make sure our jobs are clean, and we gotta make sure we get it right 100% the first time. So on this job, because it's cold storage, we have to pay super attention to the details and make sure that we're tracking with the rest of the crews on the roof that are working. So we'll go up and we'll show you what we're working on up there. So we're on top of a cold storage facility here in Stephenville. The first stage, the roofing process, is GAF requires us to come out 12 inches and put perimeter foam around, around the entire perimeter and also around all penetrations. So second stage would be to go first layer of poly ISO insulation, three inch on the uh, refrigerated sections. That'll be mechanically fastened. Then the second layer of three inch or the second layer of all the ISO will be uh, adhered, fully adhered with low rise foam. Then we come with a half inch cover board, which is also fully adhered. And then uh, 60 mil EverGuard product. The most challenging part of this project is just the broad scope of it. So while I'm focused on, we got to get more cover board over here, we might run out of fasteners over here. So just keeping it all together and not losing sight of one specific material need. Uh, machines break, like if a sky track goes down, work stops. So just staying on top of, on all of it, just the most difficult part of this is for sure just the sheer scale of 310,000 square feet. And also, we're having to coordinate with the other subs. Mm -hmm. So they get behind and they have something to do with the roof, that puts us behind. So we're working around these guys and they're, uh, they're communicating with us on, on uh, what their schedule. Daily, yeah, communication daily. So I wanna show you two things that make cold storage unique. So right here on this line, connecting the, uh, the decking to the structure beneath, they had to actually spot weld down this line because they didn't have the fasteners. Now this is all spec, this is all good, but sometimes that welding machine gets off to the right or left and they punch a little hole in here. So any little hole that they've blown into this decking, if it's anything near a penny, we have to cover it with low rise foam before we go on top of it with the poly ISO. So in addition to that, when we come to a transition in a wall, we have to go back a minimum of 12 and we go ahead and go 18 inches back on the low rise foam. And what that does is that creates a barrier for any condensation, evaporation to take place. So you don't want any evaporation taking place that would create a moisture barrier, that would create uh, just any type of transition is gonna make water collect. So right here, we have to be very careful on all our transitions. We fill it up, we cut them down, we terminate, and we keep rolling. We're actually standing on top of the dry storage area. We've almost got this complete, and we're actually just waiting on the steel guys. The, the, uh, what you're looking at right here is actually the different stages. So you see far off the guys in the yellow, you can see they're standing on the first layer of ISO, 
And as you come closer, we've, we've already installed the last layer of ISO and the cover board. This guy right here is, uh, they've stretched out the membrane to get it flat, let the sun hit it, get it flat. These buckets are actually just to hold down the membrane. They are adhesive, but we don't use as much adhesive. It looks like we're about to, you know, we have a lot of adhesive, but the buckets are just to hold down the adhesive. One five gallon bucket covers anywhere from 250 to 300 square feet. One very important thing on this project is our partners. Every four weeks, they will come and they will look over our shoulder just to make sure we're doing all the details, all the specs to what they have submitted this job to be completed with. And we appreciate that so much. We look forward to seeing them when they come out and we really appreciate their expertise. GAF is the industry leader in all things commercial roofing. If you're a homeowner in need of a roofing contractor, uh, my advice would be start with the internet, start with uh, reviews. Uh, we, do, we do operate in a market that does not require a roofing license. And because of that, unfortunately, you do have a lot of two chucks and a truck type roofing companies that show up when hail falls out of the sky and really don't know what they're doing. They uh, slap some material up on your roof, collect a check, and they're nowhere to be found when uh, something goes wrong. Uh, make sure you're shopping local. Uh, it's always important uh, to identify a company that you can walk into and uh, address needs in the future. So I would definitely recommend looking at reviews and making sure that the longevity of the company has been established. My guys think outside the box often, and uh, this is a community where you can't door knock. So what they do is when they have a roof going on, they knock five that way, five this way, and across the street, and just say, I wanna let you know we're the company putting the roof on across the street. If an ounce of paper or any material shows up in your yard, do not pick it up. Call me, and I will come and clean it up myself. And, and they're like, oh, okay, well, while you're here, <laughs> My advice to a homeowner that's shopping for a roofing contractor is do your homework. Um, it, is, it takes you very little time to look up reviews, to um, check references, check insurance references. Uh, there, there are some companies out there that claim to be something they're not, but there are good contractors out there, uh, good roofing contractors that do what they say they're gonna do that you can trust. Your home deserves nothing less than the best.